from MRV Media. We're going to start today with the basics of WordPress using my website as an example. So whenever you are on a WordPress website and you are ready to log in to your WordPress administration panel, you need to go to yourwebsite.com slash wp-admin. So now you'll see I've been redirected to a login page and I'm going to go ahead and log in. And you'll notice as soon as the website logs in, you'll see all of the different things you need to know right away. Right here you'll have the right now, which is if you have comments, if you have approved comments, pending comments, or spam comments, how many posts you have. Posts are usually blog entries. Or if you have a special real estate or artist website, it may also be a portfolio item or a property listing. You have pages right here, which are your static pages like the about page, the contact page, etc. You'll have your different blog categories and then you'll have blog tags which are kind of like keywords. Right here is quick press which is how you can make a quick entry into your blog. It's great um, if you're on a cell phone on mobile internet without having the WordPress app. Down here you'll see WordPress blog and that's actually WordPress the company that develops the WordPress software. You'll see some of the entries from their blog. Other WordPress news. Incoming links, which is people linking to your website. Popular plugins that you should try out. Recent drafts, if you have anything in progress. And then recent comments. And you can see both of these are flagged as pending, which means that WordPress links are spam. And they are. So I'm going to go ahead and actually spam both of them. And now they're gone. And I'm going to delete my testing post. And then up here you'll see that there's a new update to WordPress. So it's prompting me to update. So you can also see there's a 1 over here under updates, which means there's an update available. So I'm going to go ahead and please update now. And going to run the auto WordPress updater to update software. Upgrade or update automatically. You'll see it goes through the whole process right here, and now it's done. And that's the newest version of WordPress. I definitely recommend updating whenever there are updates available, because if there are any security vulnerabilities in the software, that will take care of it for you.